We live in a world dominated by fear. And some of those fears are very real. If you live in a war zone, uh, just have to think of Syria. Being afraid of being attacked by with chemical weapon, it's very real and it's very f frightening. Uh, also, if you have not eaten in more than three days, you can be afraid for your own survival. If your child has been uh, diagnosed with a very aggressive form of cancer, yes, there's fears. And also there's fears that are manufactured or blow out of proportion. Uh, immigration, for example. Uh, we have people coming from country to this country as other country experience and they might be different, different value, different uh, habits and so on. And we're afraid how it will change the social fabric of the society. Sometimes we are afraid of what others might think of us even if we have absolutely no control over it. We cannot force people to think in one way or another. Uh, we can be afraid of becoming irrelevant in a society that is constantly changing and transforming itself. And all those fears mostly lead to our worst problem as human being, as a society. Racism and discrimination because we don't know the other, so we reject or categorize according to a certain appearance and so on. Sometimes we want to create walls and borders and not just physical walls and borders, sometimes our psychology. Uh, sometimes we want to stay in our little group where everything is comfortable, where everybody thinks the same. Sometimes we will refuse anything that is new, anything that is different that does not fit with our ideology or values or beliefs. The disciples in the gospel according to Luke in chapter 24 were afraid. And I would say with reason. Uh, they were living in the Roman Empire and the way the Roman Empire uh, was dealing with, let's say, troublemakers was not like today. That was not, let's come together, let's talk to one another, let's establish line of communication, understanding each other. No, no, no. That's not how the Roman Empire proceed. Basically, they would take the head of a group and they will kill him. And then if the message does not get the first time, they will take the second one and kill it, the third, the fourth, the fifth until either the group stopped making trouble or you ran out of people, whichever happened once. That was the Roman Empire. So, yes, they were afraid because Jesus, their master, was executed and most likely they were the next in line. And so they were inside a, a room, <laughs> door lock, and Jesus showed up. Jesus was dead show up. So they reach another level of being afraid because I don't know about you, but dead people usually do not show up. <laughs> so they were afraid. And Jesus tried to reassure it, his disciple, not by saying, according to the text, have courage or not talking about faith and belief. And if you are afraid, you don't have enough faith. No, no, that's not what Jesus says. He said, guy it's me and peace be with you peace as the opposite of fear it's very interesting because yes we we long for this peace in our world if there would be no war no armed conflict yes for many millions and millions of human beings would mean peace and safety and yes but there's also this part of peace inside of us peace of soul peace of mind 
And sometimes we say when we are at peace, you know that feeling. When we are at peace, it's more difficult to be disturbed by what we see on TV, in the news, on social media. Or we can still be afraid of real fears, but it's easier to keep it in proportion or to try to address those fears, try to understand where it comes, work on it. And that's what the message of the risen Christ has for this world of fear. Because we believers in the Western world can feel that we are, we are afraid of failure, we're afraid of rejection. We're afraid of being dinosaurs from another time when people believe in God and now it's not the case for the majority. Um, and then you have this risen Christ that say, well, I will not necessarily change the world in a snap of a finger, but I'm here with you. I will not let you down. And together we'll try to discover what could be beyond those fears if we work and if we do in the ministry we're called to do, if we try in our way to contribute to a better society. And that's what we have to understand after the story of resurrection. That's wonderful. It happened 2,000 years ago. Yay! But the risen Christ is still an experience we can have that can be present when we are afraid, it can be, bring peace and lead us to something else. Once again, thank you for listening. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette, and until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.